channel in today's video I will be using the brand new Anastasia Am Reezy eyeshadow palette like let's focus here because the packaging in this is straight up my vibes like I love pink obviously I have a pink chair <laughs> I love glitter and sparkles and this is all of it the shades inside here are beautiful if I do say so myself so so pretty I'm all about this when I saw vibe. the original pictures for this I wasn't like so in love but then I was like okay just go get it we'll try it out and I'm so so glad that I did because I'm obsessed with this one this one is definitely one that I will be using quite a bit of like I can see myself hitting a pan on a couple of these shades already and it already makes me sad <laughs> so um, this is just a quick eyes only tutorial so let's go ahead and jump right into it okay so I have everything done on my face and I look a little scary <laughs> like I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like oh that's scary but this isn't scary this is so pretty like really baby pink glitter I'm obsessed with this. I am so obsessed with this. I'm going to grab my Morphe M124 brush and I'm going to go in with the color, the lightest color right here called Wasted. It's got some shimmer in it and I'm hoping that it's not like super shimmery. Maybe that shimmer will help it have a little bit of a pop. I'm going to grab my Morphe M504 brush and I'm going to go in with the color New Yaker, Yaker, New Yaker. And I'm just blending that right here as my transition shade. I'm going to grab the color OG and I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH31 brush. And I'm just going to use that to kind of deepen up the lower part of that transition shade. I'm going to take the brush that came with the palette and I'm going to go in with this side, the packing side. I'm going to go in with the color Semsa and I'm going to start packing this on like this at an angle. I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe JH40 brush and I'm going to take the color 1998 or sorry <laughs> 1988 which was still after I was born. From here I'm going to grab the color Cupcake and I'm going to take that on my JH41 packing brush. One thing that I know about Anastasia's shimmers, they press pigments, they're super soft. So like, don't press too hard when you're going in the palette with them. Otherwise, you'll like lose half your product so fast. Next, I'm gonna take this Huda Beauty um, like sponge applicator. It also has the rubber side on it. But I'm going to take the sponge side. I'm going to go in with this color right here called Barb. I mainly just want to say the name Barb. I'm going to take Barb. Barb. Oh my gosh. I... Okay. This is such a pretty and fun color. <gasps> it's like just iridescent and so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is like my new obsession. This color. 
right there. Barb. Hey, Barb. Oh my gosh. That just totally changed the whole look of this. Like, I'm crazy. Who's Barb? Who is Barb? Because obviously, Barb must be important to you because this shade is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Barb. Hey, Barb. How you doing, Barb? I'm gonna take my Morphe M210 and I'm gonna go in with the color Reezy and I'm just going to pack this on right on the outside of the shimmers where they start to go. Yeah, that just kind of gives it like a little more of a 3D-esque dimensional view. And that's like mermaid vibes. I'm gonna line my lashes with my Benefit Roller Lash. I'm gonna go in with New Yorker and OG on this J30H brush and just build that up with my lower lash line. I'm gonna take this M431 brush in the color Simsa. I wanna take a little bit of barb back on the sponge applicator. Oh yeah. Just stick it right on the inner part of my lower lash line. I'm gonna take my lash liner magnetic liner and I'm just going to apply this right at the base of the lash line. I'm going to grab my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and coat my lashes with that while my liner, my lash liner dries. I'm gonna go in with these Ardell Faux Mink Lashes that I'm obsessed with, that I've turned into magnetic lashes. And I'm just going to Pop them on. I've been using this new Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte. You have to shake it up really, really good. Insider tip. And then spritz it. Because if you haven't shaken it up, you will get spots. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and dip, dub, dub. Okay, that was the only one. Dab, dab, dab. That's all you gotta do. It's been working so well. So, so well. MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. And pop that mascara on. Okay, and I don't think it would be appropriate if I didn't use this. But I'm gonna take the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter, and this is my Anastasia A23 brush. I just, I have to use this one, right? Mm. Such a pretty highlight that looks good on so many skin tones. I'm gonna take my lip liner by Morphe in the color Foolish. And I'm gonna take this Revlon lipstick that I've used forever, like, mm -hmm. and this isn't my first tube either. Um, it's the color 668, it's the cream in the color Primrose. Kind of a purpley-ish, light pink. And just because I want to match the Barb vibe, I'm gonna take this Jouer Lip Topper in the color Saint Tropez, and I'm going to, yes, pop it right on the center. Ooh. Ooh. 
That is so pretty. Oh, I'm obsessed with that barb color. Can't get over it, barb, barb. Okay, you guys, that's it. This is my look using the new Anastasia Amrezi eyeshadow palette. Like, I'm in a vibe right now, right? I'm in my little purple sweatshirt. I'm also in a vibe with sweatshirts and hoodies right now, let's be honest. Like, I think the whole decade, or I don't know if it's the year or the decade yet, but definitely 2020 right now is big, giant, oversized sweatshirts and hoodies. And you know what, my husband, he says he likes it. So uh, it's a win-win situation for me. I get to be comfy and he likes it. I'll take it. Anyways, this is it for this look. I'm loving the vibe of this palette. Can I dupe some of these shades in my collection? You know, when it comes to like the neutrals and stuff, I'm sure. Um, but some of these shades and these shimmers in here, especially when it, you come to like these pressed glitters, which I didn't even dive into because I wanted to just play around with those purple vibes. Look how pretty those pressed glitters are. But I love how this is like this purple pink iridescent look. Barb is obviously my favorite shade of like life right now. So there's that. <laughs> so I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big ol' thumbs up. Leave any comments, requests, questions, anything down below. I'd love to talk to you guys. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell to join the Allianne clan. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.